I think the firm's overall performance is in line with the market's expectations. Um, but yes, in certain of our business areas, it's below, below the market's expectations. I think the market, look, going out of the fourth quarter, uh, underestimated the impact of a very difficult rates and credit environment globally. And of course, our businesses are exposed to those markets. We think actually in that environment, they performed reasonably well. Um, I don't mean so much in the, in the revenue performance, but in risk terms and how we manage through that environment, we're, we're quite pleased with, with the performance of the businesses. But still, everybody's looking at revenues when we're talking about Deutsche and also the future of the bank. So um, that's not a turnaround quarter, which we've seen in the fourth quarter. Yeah. How will the first quarter be? So we've been, you're absolutely right, we've been working to stabilize and, and grow revenues after having executed on the restructurings and, and reshaping of the business that we did in 2018. The fourth quarter, with the environment that we faced, didn't turn out to be the quarter for that turnaround, but it's something that we continue to, to work for and look for in 2019. Uh, let's look at how the, the year started, because the markets clearly rebounded. Is that also something which is reflected in your numbers? Well, the, the market backdrop is, is clearly much more encouraging than in December um, and throughout the fourth quarter, to be, to be honest. Uh, I think the market or the, the expectations for uh, economic growth were being scaled back in the fourth quarter. Um, but corporate earnings, um, the overall environment, the underlying economy is performing perhaps better than the concerns were uh, in the fourth quarter. So that, uh, that greater confidence, I think, is coming through into the markets. Also, the actions of the central banks, um, so monetary policy stance has changed somewhat since late December. And all of that provides a, a much more constructive backdrop. So you're positive or you're optimistic that the first quarter will be a lot better? We're absolutely participating in the change, for sure. And the, and it's, uh, the seasonal change from, from the fourth quarter to the first quarter is something that we've seen uh, and we, we hope and expect to continue. Let's look at 2019 and uh, also your return on tangible equity target because some analysts are calling that very unlikely to reach the 4%. So how optimistic are you? We are, we are working towards a plan that we've articulated to achieve better than 4% ROTE and we'll lay out for the analyst elements of the path to achieve that. We think that, that the lion's share of that movement is in our control uh, in elements that we've put in place foundationally in 2018. We're enormously pleased with the progress on, on the reshaping, the milestones that we hit in 2018 across all three of our businesses, as well, frankly, as hitting our financial targets for 18. So we think that sets us up to execute on our plans uh, for 19. We're confident that we've, we've put in place those conditions. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecchi, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.